it's been almost two years and three months now that we've had our Dyson Kinetic Big Ball Animal Vacuum and the thing has just absolutely done great in picking up cat fur with our six cats and the cat litter that they track around and just all kinds of stuff. But recently we had a problem. I'll have to see if you can actually hear this on video, but here's what the problem is. When I turn it on without uh, getting the brush going, it sounds like this. Nice and smooth and kind of quiet and everything. But here's what it sounds like when I pull the handle back to put the brush in motion. So it's not supposed to sound like that. It's supposed to sound pretty much almost the same as when the brush is not going. So originally I, I was a little concerned that we kind of burned out a motor or there was some teeth and gears were broke or something. I don't know, but it, it didn't sound right. But after talking to the service rep on the phone, she had me go through a bunch of different things and was really helpful and found out that there was an issue with the brush bar, I think is what it's called. So she sent one out to us. We got it uh, really quickly and I'm about ready to put that on now. And we're ho I'm hoping that that's going to take care of this loud sounding noise and we won't have that really loud noise again. I, it, it, after doing some research on the internet, it kind of sounded like it could be the brush motor which I don't even know if there's a motor in there. I think it's just kind of gears from the vacuum motor. But anyway, so I am uh, going to replace that and hopefully we're going to have our qu more quiet vacuum back. All right, so we just got this box here. Get some instructions in there. Got screws, gave some new screws for it. And then inside the two parts, to the brush bar. So we need to replace this guy in here. So they say that uh, this is, you don't have to wash any filters and you don't have any bags or anything, but there is another spot that we've found out you gotta keep clean. You see right here, these things here hook onto this right here in these little spots spokes or spindles or whatever you want to call them there kind of goes in there it's like that and so that's what spins it and apparently this right here was packed with dust a big old sir almost looked like a washer around there just like with thick ring of dust and hair and all that in there which kind of pushed this out away and apparently it strips this part in here so that's the part that wears out so as well as dumping the the vacuum apparently you've got to clean these out too it's fairly easy to get to but these little screws are a little difficult not to strip so thankfully they give you a bag of new screws for it so that's fairly cleaned out now. I cleaned it out when I took it apart when we were troubleshooting it. So now I'm going to try putting the new brushes on there and see how that goes. And I guess every month or so, especially when you have as many cats as we do, I think you need to take these off and keep that clean so it's not pushing that out. But we'll see. We'll see if it's quieter with these new brush bars on here. All right, got the new brush bars in. So let's see, see if this is going to work, if this is going to make a difference. Hopefully it's going to stay quiet when the brush comes on. Here we go. Let's check it out. So that is how it's supposed to sound. So very cool. That made it quiet and working the way it's supposed to be working. So cool, easy fix, good customer service, got the part out real quick. Uh, it's got a five year warranty on it. So we're just, like I said, just under two years and three months. So they, um, we were able to just get the part sent to us right away, get it fixed, 
back up and running. We need it because of all these cats. Seems like it's back to its old self again. Very cool. One of the things that helps out with this vacuum or the attachment, it has an animal attachment, which has got little things that spin in here. This one here, which works pretty decent unless the fur is really thick on the, um, like the ottoman. Our cats like to lay on there a lot, so it gets pretty thick there. So I go over it with this one first because this little brush thing here seems to really grab the fur pretty good and then I'll go over it with this. So the combination of the two seem to work really good for, for furniture. One issue and workaround that I have here is that after a while using the hose it kind of kinks up here a little bit so I'll either hold it up as I'm vacuuming with it or like with the couch or something put it up against the couch like right there so that it doesn't kink down at the bottom there because that seems to restrict the flow and the um, suction a little bit so but um, so just try to keep it away from that one section I think this section kind of I don't know doesn't feel like the springs are compromised in it, but it seems like down there it'll restrict the flow. So got to try to hold it up a little bit so it works a little better. All right, I got my assistant Matt here. Hey Matt, vlogger Matt that is. Hello. All right, let's see that thing. All right, so having six cats, we need to vacuum quite frequently. That's what how much we picked up after four days nowadays we're vacuuming about twice a week but we were vacuuming a lot more when we needed to get rid of fleas and I think we have got to thank this vacuum for being able to get rid of the fleas with six cats all right Matt you ready to help yeah this is that vacuum that doesn't have any filters or anything you have to clean all you got to do is empty the canister but there is a trick to it in order to make sure you keep it really clean and it doesn't get clogged. So first, you hit this button here and it releases everything out, but I usually take the canister off and dumps it out. This all gets clogged here. You gotta make sure that gets unclogged too. So you gotta pull all that stuff off of there first. Then you gotta smack it around a little bit. See all that dust coming out of there? And then I even go like this sometimes. That usually kind of gets more of that stuff out. Look at all that still coming out of there. Then I usually smack it around. Still got a bunch coming out. And then I actually got to blow this out. All the fur stuck in there. And then you got to click that back in and then usually... Whoa, even some still came out. I don't know. It gets, mm, yeah. gets kind of stuck right here. So I got to hold the button down and... and then it's clean. So there you have it. That's how we keep our house clean with six cats, all the fur, cat litter, all that kind of stuff. But thankfully, I think that vacuum has really been an excellent vacuum. It takes a little bit of work to clean it out, make sure you clean it out and everything, but uh, I think we're back up and running and things are going good. So thank the Lord that we were able to get that vacuum and be able to manage having all these cats in our house. <laughs>